everybody good morning <laughs> still in my pajamas just wanted to keep y'all updated on Jasper and Mrs. Uh, James's mother I call her Mrs. last name been married to James almost 33 years and I still call her Mrs. last name <laughs> I just couldn't call her by her first name just can't do it <laughs> Anyway, James's mommy is home, and um, they said her heart attack wasn't as bad as the last one she had, so that's good. It's just a slight heart attack. I believe James's mother might be getting a little bit of Alzheimer's. Um, she sometimes doesn't recognize her children, and she sees things and things like that. So her being home is better. She just had a terrible time in the hospital. She didn't like it there. And so her being home calmed her down a little bit, and her James has got a brother and two sisters that lives down there near her, and they're going to take real good care of her. And then, now about Jasper, uh, Friday, I, I knew immediately that he was getting sick again, and I tried to help him, and he would not let me help him. He just hissed and carried on and tried to bite me, and... So I told James, I said, we're going to take him to the hospital. I know that it's time for that surgery. You know, we have been putting off that surgery and trying to avoid it since December. Because it's the kind of surgery that's not 100% sure if it will even work. And it's expensive. James has not worked in almost a year. And, well, it doesn't matter. He, he was going to have to have the surgery. And so we took him down there, and the vet said that... <clears throat> They might do the surgery this weekend. I called. They have two hospitals, one in another county. And <clears throat> this one here, well, I called both places all weekend long. Nobody answered. Called this morning, and Jasper is still down there at the original hospital. Has not had his surgery. It is so frustrating. It gets me upset. You know what? If they were going to do that, I'd just soon bring him home. Let him do the enema on Friday, and then let's let me bring him home and take him back. You know, because he's down there by himself, and, you know. But I'll have to call back. The doctor wasn't in. So I'll have to call back later and try to get some kind of information about what they're going to do and all that. James and I are doing pretty good. James is outside right now trying to work on our fence, uh, trying to put up something to keep the water out of our yard. And he's been working on it for ever since it flooded, you know, around the county the last time. I am, my day-to-day -day is going to be still yet cleaning. I'm, I've got, I, I rearranged my family room and I'd show you, but I've got, it's all piled up still yet, and I have got ladders that i got to start cleaning, ceiling fans and things like that, and so we're both going to be busy today and uh, worrying about my Jasper. But anyway, you know, I, I'm going to try to make this short and sweet, and uh, I have so many new subscribers, and you know, I can't pronounce half their names, <laughs> but I will put all their links down there at the bottom, and I really appreciate you subscribing to me. I really do. Thank you so much. Your links are going to be down there at the bottom. I hope everybody has a good week. I hope that if you're going on vacation, you have a fantastic time, and... <sighs> I hope everybody's happy. I'll keep you updated on Jasper and James's mother. You all take care. This is Melissa reporting from up in the holler. Bye, everybody.